All right, so this is a suggestion via Patreon. The name of the video is Randy Buys a Book Off Gumtree. Listen, if you guys are new here, please like and subscribe. The more that you like this content, the more that I know that you specifically would like to see more of this specific type of content, okay? Well, let's go ahead and just um, jump into this immediately. guys let's check it out all right <clears throat> here we go okay fuck okay here we go <clears throat> okay all right walking to sky chapter one I bought a bookshelf on Gumtree recently. Um, it, it was an amazing experience. I'll quickly tell you about it and then it's I'll like read the book. Puppet. But I found it strange because it, it made me start to think about the way, like, our methods of communication have sort of changed. Firstly, I have no idea what Gumtree is. Over the so years. You know, in the old days, actually if you find out what that is, guys. you'd just go see Gareth the Bookshelf Guy because he was the dude in your tribe that made the bookshelves. He yeah. had a little bookshelf cave. He was reputable. Now, any mad can sell their sh so it's like a uh, like like a local eBay kind of right on Gumtree you know what I mean as a species we're sort of able to cope with knowing and and gossiping about around like a hundred or 150 people that's like the limit of our tribe any more than that it starts to get confusing which is why we created abstract constructs like territories and deities to unite larger groups of people under an imaginary common factor and Ooh. it works a trick because we only really gather on map this puppet is kind of intelligent guys i'm just going to point this out the, the puppet is kind of intelligent all right that's on special occasions but i think like social media and it's all that up you know i don't think we're, right. we're able to deal with the thousands of people we're connected to on a daily basis and as a result we neglect our immediate 150 you know that's why i never get invited to parties anymore it's not because i ramble on about veganism and f***ing old ladies whoa 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 it's buddy. because i'm not on facebook and everybody just assumes you are i am so behind on the births and marriages of my friends that I feel like the time traveler's wife every time I go to a party. I'm like, this is uh, Tim, he's our son, he's six now. And didn't even know you were pregnant. <laughs> anyway, and you know smartphones aren't that great. You know that, right? They're not. They're not that great. You don't need the internet in your pocket. You work at Coles, okay? You're not working for the president. Wow. You don't need it. You don't need that much information. And also, what was the point of developing opposable <laughs> thumbs for you to take a photo of your head, and post it on the internet, and then just stand by for validation? Wow. No one gives a f about your wow. Head. I can definitely tell you that this video was probably uploaded a long time ago, um, mainly based off the language, guys. Validated in order to gain permission to post a photo of their own head on the internet and stand by for validation. <laughs> the people who give a f about your head will at some point see it in real life. Right. F your head and the neck it rode in on. <laughs> your vanity is sucking up my bandwidth. <laughs> Anyway, this is what's going through my head as I'm on Gumtree looking for a bookshelf because, oh, you know, when you put That's, something in. On so hold on, as he's searching for a, a bookshelf, um, while looking on this this like eBay Craigslist style of website, all of this is going through his head, guys. All right, I mean, on the, on the, in the, <laughs> like in the search in book tree in book tree, what the? F <laughs> when you put something in the search on Gumtree, I'm having a stroke up here. Um. <laughs> Yeah, when you put something in the search, right, and, and like, there's always a couple of things that come up in the list that are like the polar opposite of what you search for. I'm like, get out of right. my head, gum tree algorithms, conspiracy. No, but seriously, you type, you type it's like bookshelf, and it's like bookshelf, 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 gramophone. <laughs> bookshelf, 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 Gramophones. combine harvester. What the f***? That's <laughs> yeah, actually a pretty good price. <laughs> Anyway, on this there is no such thing as a pretty good price on a combine harvester, guys. Just gonna let you guys know. Though. These, th these things are like three, four hundred thousand dollars, bro. This particular day, I found two bookshelves that worked for me in terms of cost and, more importantly, geographical convenience. Because I'd be f if I'm driving to Broad Meadows to pick up a bookshelf, right? So <laughs> I type in bookshelf and I see the two things, and I'm like, okay, one seller is Kathy, the other is Morgan. I send them both the same text message. Hello, I saw your bookshelf on Gumtree. Is it still available? Kathy texts back straight away saying, Sorry, it 
friend this morning. <laughs> That's cool, Kathy. <laughs> How does he know that Kathy responded like that if it was through text? Was it in caps, guys? Hang on. Sorry, I gave you an annoying Italics? voice in the retelling of this story. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. I was wondering, guys. I was Morgan's absolutely came wondering. Morgan's response a couple of minutes later and simply read, "It was my wife's bookshelf." <laughs> Respond to that, right? Aside from the fact that it doesn't answer my question, his use of past tense in that sentence unnerved me slightly. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I should probably yeah, just exactly. find another bookshelf. Right, you look for another and then one, I guys. I noticed he lived in the suburb next to me, so oh, I replied, it's too close. It's too close. Is it still available? Of course. He responded with the letter Y. Just a Y. Is he asking me why I want to know if it's still available? <laughs> or is it a why for yes? yes? And he's so in the throes of grief that he can't manage the E and the S. I assume it's a why for yes, so I respond, cool, I'll take it. When's a good time to come and pick it up? No reply for 15 minutes. I'm like, oh, he's forgotten about me. But I'll find another bookshelf. And then when his reply actually does come through, I realise he spent those 15 minutes crafting his response because it's a f***ing thesis. <laughs> He must have felt so bad about only using a single consonant in his previous text that he just massively overcompensated for right. this one. Also, for some reason, felt that the use of punctuation, entirely unnecessary. So it's just one obscenely long, long sentence, run on sentence, which reads, you must come and pick up now. I only have short time here at house and also it wide. So bring van or trailer and their stair, but I can help you carry downstairs. If you come park out front, walk up past ring bell and I will help you carry it to trailer or van. I only accept cash. And if you do not come now, I will sell it someone else. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm thinking, oh, I should just find another bookshelf at this point. Right, you may but have to do that, bro. I am fascinated by Morgan, and I simply must meet the man. So, <laughs> I drive over to his house. Oh, before I left, I sent him a message saying, cool, I'll be there in 10 minutes. He replied, okay, but spelled it okay, a y which just fascinated oh, no. me more. That Interesting guy. All to spell a two-letter word, but only one letter to spell a three-letter word. Morgan is off the f***ing chain! <laughs> <laughs> and as I'm driving over to his house, I'm trying to picture what he's going to be like, you know? Right, His course. pigeon English might suggest ethnicity of some sort, but I don't want to racially profile him. Maybe he's an old man who recently lost his wife and he's not that very good at texting. Or maybe and I'm really hoping this is the case. Morgan is just bat crazy. So Could be. I get to his house and I go up to the. I will accept I all those variables. Path ring bell and I. <laughs> I brace myself for the door to be opened by like an old man in a smoking jacket, wearing fishnet stockings and suspenders, just puffing on an pipe while a butler just creepily polishes oh a goldfish in the background. Why is, why is he polishing it? What? Tiny... Hold on. Wait. I see what he did there. I find that hilarious, but that's not the point. Why would he be polishing a goldfish? I mean, I get it, because it's a gold and it could be a, a goldfish. Guy, listen, whatever. Either way, it's hilarious. Dog wearing a fez hat just trots up the hallway, sits on the mat, looks up at me and says, Welcome to our lovely room! Right. And then the door opens and I am thoroughly disappointed. Oh, Before no. me stands an average Caucasian male in his mid-thirties, dressed casually, hipster chic, stubble, glasses with designer frames, expensive watch. I immediately think <clears> architect, <throat> but the house is too cheesy for that. It's like a double-story doll's house with bay windows, but definitely a designer of some kind, maybe a graphic designer. He's too skinny for manual labour. He's too hip for the public sector. But this can't be Morgan. Right. Because Morgan's text messages would suggest that he's not that technically savvy. And then oh. the man standing in front of me says, Hello, my name's Morgan. And the plot thickens! <laughs> he invites me in, shakes my hand, closes the door, and 20 minutes later, I will be witnessing Morgan perform some of the most aggressive acts I've ever seen in my life. What? And I will be speeding away in my car 
looking from the face. Really? No, 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 no. Here's how this went down. Oh, let's, let's get it go. Let's get it. Let's get I it. go into the house and I notice two things immediately. One, this is a house in the throes of renovation. Nothing too right. extreme, but there's like drop sheets on all the furniture. There's freshly painted walls. There's a bathtub wrapped in plastic in the hallway awaiting installation. Someone's doing some work on this house. Of course. The second thing I notice, on the way up the stairs to the second floor, on the first floor landing, is a wedding photograph featuring a very cleanly shaven Morgan with a very beautiful bride. Very much in love. Okay. The photograph is very much on the floor and the glass in the frame is very much smashed. She's not dead, she's Ooh. left him and the plot thickens a bit more for Morgan. <laughs> right. And as Morgan unceremoniously like kicks the photo frame to one side on the way up the stairs, I really wanted to pry into Morgan's life no, don't and do ask it. heaps of inappropriate questions. Don't do it, don't do it. But he don't was it, clearly please. a broken man. He right. had this terrible air of sadness around him, so I didn't want to intrude. Oh, you, please Luckily intrude. for me, though, I didn't have to because Morgan immediately began oversharing and told me the whole f***ing story. Oh! Thank you, Morgan. I shall hang off your every word and then retell your tale to 200 strangers and record it for a DVD. <laughs> <clears throat> he is a graphic designer. Yes. Of course. And he's really good at it. He does right. like massive rebranding campaigns for large corporations. He gets flown all over the world doing this, right? About four years ago, a woman hired Morgan to rebrand her florist business, okay. and he did such a great job, she married him. And he thought everything was just fine, until about three months ago, Morgan had to do a presentation in Sydney, right? But he was on his way home from overseas and he got stuck in Dubai due to a flight cancellation. So right. rather than cancel the meeting, Morgan suggested to these businessmen in Sydney that they do a Skype chat because he's so technologically savvy despite his baffling text message stuff. Right, of course. So Morgan checks into a hotel, cracks open his laptop and starts Skyping with this room full of businessmen in Sydney who are all watching Morgan on a massive screen on their boardroom wall, right? Yes. And everything's going great. Morgan is totally nailing it until about halfway through, he realises that a file he wants to show these dudes is on the desktop of his home computer back in his home office in Melbourne. And he decides to live share the desktop of his home computer oh, no. on the Skype chat. Oh, no. He knows how to do that. Don't he do can that. control his computer Never do that. from anywhere in the world. It's not particularly new technology. Right, right. But Morgan makes it sound so impressive. So this room full of businessmen are all watching keenly like, oh, Margaret, bring in some biscuits. There's some newfangled going on in here. <laughs> Never do that, guys. Never As do this. As Morgan clicks a few buttons and brings up the desktop of his home computer hmm. on the Skype chat. Now, what Morgan uh -oh. doesn't realize uh -oh. is his that wife's his on it. wife has been using the photo booth app on that particular oh, computer no. to take pictures of herself. Okay. To take pictures of herself. To take pictures of herself doing some pretty fit. Right. It's embarrassing to say the least. Just as Margaret came back in with the biscuits, I've got you the... <laughs> <laughs> now, those of you who are familiar with the Photo Booth app will know that how it works is it accesses the built-in camera in your computer and right. with a click of a button, takes a photo of you when you're standing in front of the screen. Of course. And if you know that, you'll also know that if you leave that application open, the mm -hmm. camera also stays open, witnessing whatever may be happening in front of the computer in real time. Such as your wife right. in your home office. Right, with someone else. Your best mate. Right. I figured it. I, I smelt that coming. I smelt that coming. Morgan then goes on to tell me she's keeping the house, his former best mate is moving in, and right. while they're out for the day happily shopping for fittings, Morgan must suffer the indignity of moving his shit out and selling the stuff they don't want on Gumtree to this guy. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh, no. It's at this point of the story that Morgan starts crying. He breaks down, and I do not blame the man. It's 
fucking horrible and right. I just want to give him a big hug and say everything's going to be all right Morgan but I am holding the full weight of a bookshelf halfway down a set of stairs right. and Morgan is the only thing stopping that bookshelf from caving my face in I was like Morgan no oh Morgan! he's having a bad day too guys and Morgan he's definitely having a bad day together for about eight seconds and right. then just went bah, and let the bookshelf go I fell backwards it literally rolled over me and took out the light hanging above the staircase I'm now lying on my back getting showered in broken glass as the bookshelf turned end over end it just went thunk right through a freshly painted wall at the bottom of the stairs I'm like oh, 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 oh. I've got a tiny cut on my forehead which is just blood for some reason apart from that i'm fine right morgan however he's not fine morgan is the opposite of fine something happened when the bookshelf lodged itself in the wall and his sadness just went away in a second and he started himself laughing hysterical and he had the creepiest laugh I've ever heard in my life I'm standing going this is weird and he's going <laughs> <laughs> like some sort of demonically possessed baritone kookaburra it's like <laughs> 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 from the wall. The bookshelf, incidentally, showing no sign of having just rolled down a staircase and smashed through a wall. We carry it out to my car. We had to stop about six times because Morgan was like, hang on a minute. <laughs> we got it to my car, put it on the trailer, and Morgan was in such a great mood, he let me have the bookshelf for free. I would hope so after all of that. I would hope so after all of that, guys. Absolutely. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> And that's where the story should end. There's more, guys? But there was something about the bookshelf going through the wall that flipped a f***ing switch in Morgan's head, and he is now hungry for more destruction. Oh, wow. So as I started tying the, the bookshelf down to my trailer, Morgan just strolls over to, like, an upright mailbox on the front lawn and just... Right starts trying to wrench it out of the ground, just really putting his back into it. Like, mm, mm, mm. I'm like, uh, you okay, buddy? He's like, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> this man is going through like a psychotic break. He pulls it out of the ground, whereupon he wields it like a battle axe and just starts smashing up the front garden, just f***ing the daisies, f***ing the lavender. I'm like, oh, hey, Morgan, maybe you want to stop and think about that. And he wheeled around and looked me like Jack Nicholson chasing Shelley Duval up the stairs in The Shining and said, why don't you mind your own f business? <laughs> yep, yep, cool man, yep, yep. <laughs> now, I like tying knots. I'm quite good at tying knots. If I tie something down, I take my time because I want it to stay there. But as Morgan nonchalantly strolled up the driveway, rolled up the garage door, and put the mailbox through the windscreen of an Audi, I must admit, I kind of rushed my knot tying job. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, it's time car. to go, bro. It's I'm time about to go. To drive off. I'm like looking at the house, going, ah. Oh. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. And then an armchair smashed out of an upstairs window and just went doink, 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 doink down the front lawn. I was like, <laughs> what's my duty of care in this situation? Right, nothing, bro. Yeah, it's time to go. I didn't want to it's call the go. cops on him. I didn't want him to trash the house. I'm like, ah, fuck, I'm going to have to talk to Morgan. <laughs> so I got out. I walked up the driveway, shitting myself. You know when someone does something really violent and you're just like, ah, fuck, we're not supposed to do like that yucky just yucky feeling in my tum tum and i'm standing there standing there in the garage and there's like an adjoining door in the garage that leads into the house i can see in through that through the door into the house up the staircase it's like a wooden staircase and i'm standing in the garage just going yeah. morgan no 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 leave the man alone it's time to go bro it's a hundred percent time to go. For its dinner, like Muggin, Muggy, 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 Muggy. 
And then I notice a small trickle of water start to come from the top step. Okay. And then a little bit more water, and then so, and then quite a lot of water just being down the stairs like a water feature. I'm like, ah, oh, that right. can't be right. And then Morgan appeared on the top step holding a hammer like this. Bah! I was like, whoa! He's like, bah! <laughs> running at me, wielding the hammer, going, bah! I'm like, oh no, man! I just wanted to buy your bookshelf. He's like, bah! Bah! run straight past me. I'm like, where are you going? He's like, bah! made a beeline for my car. I'm like, no, man, stop. He's like, <laughs> stop it, just stop. He spins around and goes, I just checked my phone. She texted me 15 minutes ago saying she'll be here in 15 minutes. we got to go and gets into my car. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Me. Down the lawn, get in the driver's seat. I'm like, what was with the water? He goes, oh, I put plugs in all of the sinks and turned all the taps on. I'm like, oh, that's. F He's like, just drive. I was like, nah. I took off so quick, rounded the corner at the end of his street, and the bookshelf just went, boosh, and exploded against the guardrail. Just exploded in a shower of badly tied knots and broken dreams. So me and Morgan just. And left it there, like a little breadcrumb for his ex-wife to find on the way home to her destroyed gingerbread house. I dropped Morgan at a train station. Right. I have never seen him again. Right, of course. Why would you? And that, my friends, is why I no longer shop on Gumtree. Thank you right. very much. We're here. <laughs> oh, man. Um, <laughs> honestly, I mean... Uh, this is why I don't order, I don't buy anything off any of these things. If I have to meet you in person, I don't want nothing to do with it. I'm sorry. I'm sure there'll be like really great deals or something. Um, but uh, yeah, no, bro. I don't want to have anything to do with your drama. I'm sorry. That may sound, that may make me absolutely horrific person, bro, but I just don't want nothing to do with your drama, guys. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, You know my favorite bit of that story? Go ahead. I just made it up. I figured it. Yeah, it's not true. There is no Morgan. Right. Ooh. It's very unsatisfying, isn't it? But I saw him in... Honestly, I think that a lot of comedians, honestly, just sit there and make things up anyway. So, um, this is the most believable part of the story. In my head. Ooh. I saw Morgan in my head. Yeah. Why is it we can feel so robbed when someone tells us a story we just heard isn't true? You didn't and rob me, bro. So satisfied at the end of a fictional novel. Right. Yeah. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> you know the other great thing about that story? Go ahead. First draft. Hemingway! Oh, that's it. All right, all right, guys. Listen, um, the overall, this overall, I guys, I am so confused with what I just encountered. I don't know if you guys are, but um, I definitely, this was uh, odd. All right, very captivating. It was interesting, riveting, right? And then all it was all a lie, right? But all right, listen, let me know in the comments if I should be checking out any more of this. I don't even know if he has any more of this, but most likely it does. This content exists somewhere, right? But all right, listen, let me know, and I will get into that as soon as I possibly can, all right? Listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy it thoroughly.